Jinx reporting to you from Baltimore, Maryland. Right now we're at the intersection of West North Ave and Pennsylvania Avenue, the same location where the night prior the CVS was burnt down and looting occurred. Currently it's a gathering of hundreds of people in support of nonviolence and justice for Freddie Gray. On hand we have volunteers, locals, there's even some cops here that are present, and members of the media. So right now we're currently in the CVS at the intersection of West North and Pennsylvania Avenue here in Baltimore. The same CVS, as you can see, that was set on fire in the prior nights during the riots. Despite the likelihood that this place will be torn down, as you can see, the structure has been compromised by the fire. Locals and other volunteers have decided to pitch in and help clean up the interior. People are just seeing what's happening because of the cameras and all that stuff, but this has been happening to us on a daily. This is what happens when you combine all those elements, right? With no jobs, bad economy, a failing school system, divesting in the school system, investing in the prison industrial complex. Here we go. So right now we're still at the same intersection, the curfew, it's now about 15, almost 20 minutes past the curfew. Um, they're instructing everybody to leave, including news media, so they want pedestrians to leave, um, news, everyone. Police are currently dressed in riot gear and they're moving towards people, telling them to leave the area. We've seen bottles thrown at the police. Um, they're advancing towards us, so, uh, and people are still out here. As you can see right now, projectiles are being thrown. There's some type of uh, smoke grenade and smoke's filling the area. Police are advancing forward and people are beginning to scatter down West North Street and Pennsylvania Avenue. Right now we're further down West North Ave. Behind me is the intersection where we previously were that held hundreds of people. In the hours since the curfew was implemented, police managed to clear the area using tear gas and a show of force. Seemingly all that remains is mostly police and members of the media. The sin of tear gas is still lingering. Aside from earlier confrontations, tonight has been far more calm than what we saw on previous nights. Cops are instructing us right now that the curfew is still in effect until 5 a.m. and instructing everyone to leave the street under threat of arrest. We'll continue to cover what's taking place here in Baltimore. Stay with us here at Complex News.